Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for another great deck tech here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we bring you Enter the Wizard, a budget blue-red wizard deck that features an infinite wizard combo. In addition to this combo, Almost every creature in the deck has an enter the battlefield trigger that promises to disrupt your opponent's battlefield while you set up your win condition. Moderately priced at $90 in paper and 32 tickets on MTGO, this deck will be a fun addition to your Friday Night Magic game. So let's run through the deck. Our instants and sorceries are made up of Lava Coil, a 2 drop burn that will send a 4 toughness creature into exile and two of our combo pieces. Quasi Duplicate, a sorcery for two blue and one that can create a token copy of any creature we have on the battlefield. This can be used in two capacities. First, you can use it to duplicate any of your wizards that have Enter the Battlefield triggers, causing a secondary trigger. Or you can use it in the Infinite Wizard combo. Next we have Expansion Explosion, a double-sided instant card where you can pay two blue or red, you can copy any instant or sorcery spell you control with mana cost four or less, and on the high side, two red, two blue, and X, it can deal X damage to any target and draw you X cards. We're focusing on the expansion side for the combo. For card draw, we have Anticipate, one and a blue. You can dig down three, choose a card, and then put the others on the bottom of your library. It's a fantastic card for what we're trying to do here. Now our only artifact is Helm of the Host. Again, you can use this to duplicate any of, your, of our wizards and use their tr enter the battlefield trigger again. But the real purpose of this card is for our combo. Now let's talk about our creature base. Our creature base is made up of Siren Storm Tamer. This is to protect our other creatures against removal. We have Merfolk Trickster, a creature that can be flashed in before combat to tap one of your opponent's creatures or at the end of their turn to sneak in another attacker. We have Beam Splitter Mage. This is one of our force multipliers. If you cast an instant or sorcery that targets only Beam Splitter Mage, you can copy it for up to one other creature. The early game with this deck is all about defusing your opponent's early game with Enter the Battlefield Triggers. Beam Splitter Mage will enable this strategy. Next up is Exclusion Mage. For two and a blue, when Exclusion Mage enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. This is major disruption, especially on turn three when bigger creatures are starting to come out. Finally, we have the centerpiece creature of our infinite wizard combo. Naru Meha, Master Wizard a legendary creature for two blue and two. When Naru enters the battlefield, you can copy any instant or sorcery spell that you control, choosing new targets for the copies. Additionally, Nari, Naru gives all wizards plus one plus one. Naru is the creature that we're going to make infinite copies of. But wait, Naru is legendary. With Helm of the Host, we have a way around that. Attaching Helm of the Host to Naru will create a non-legendary version of her. Once that is done, you can cast Quasi-Duplicate on Naru and copy Quasi-Duplicate with Expansion. When the first copy of Naru resolves, it will trigger and make a copy of Quasi-Duplicate again, which can be directed back at Naru. Each new copy of Naru buffs every wizard by plus one plus one so congratulations you have an infinitely large wizard army of infinite power for lands you can use four mountains eleven islands four sulfur falls and four steam vents you can cut the price in half if you trade out the steam vents for any other of the dual lands The sideboard has a grab bag of cards that you can use for any situation. Uh, three blink of an eye uh, to help get some permanents off the battlefield and help you draw. Three essence scatter uh, if you find that your opponent is casting a lot of 
big early creatures, uh, two negate general purpose, two double cast. So if you're find if you find yourself having trouble getting your double cast on quasi duplicate, um, you can use this as a secondary mode to get that done. Uh, there's three capture sphere for any creatures that you want to just halt on the battlefield. There's uh, another type of removal, and then two lightning strike which always come in handy when you're in a scrape. Well, thank you for watching. We here at Chuckwagon MTG hope you enjoyed this deck tech, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to see what's new. And be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Thanks again, and be sure to find us on Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think. Now a word from our sponsor. Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.